yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy, Trucker B. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. So today, gang, I'm coming to y'all with a vlog, man. Let y'all know I had the worst week I ever had at Prime. Like, it was one of the worst weeks I've ever had at Prime. Like, like you don't even want to know what I grossed for the week. I probably grossed 2900 for the week. Like, it was just a bad week. My First of all, I took a load. The dispatch said, take the load. It dropped Saturday. Well, you know, everybody know that if you work for Prime, if you don't, if you don't have a load or pre plan by Friday or Saturday morning, you won't load back out until Monday. So I took the load and my dispatch was like, man, I promise I'll have you something good, real good waiting on you. Well, guess what? He went on vacation. I didn't see the message where he sent out to his fleet saying he was going on vacation. So I didn't get a chance to message him like, hey, you'll send me a pre-plan before you leave. And I messed around, had to deal with another fleet manager, man. When I say, man, it's like he didn't care about nobody but his guys. Like, I'm writing him and writing him. I'm calling him. He's telling me, like, he's trying to run two fleet. He having to make sure his fleet is... Like, it was just crazy, man. So, I, I grossed 2900 for the week. Like, that was the lowest week I ever had at Prime. Like, I've never grossed under 3600 for Prime for the week. Like, it was the lowest week I ever had at Prime. Like, I grossed 2900 Um, Well, after I got the low, after I dropped the low that Saturday morning, I left that, that place around 11, 12. I was in Illinois. So, you know, if I'm in Illinois, I, I always pick up out of hour. You know, I will pay real good. My dispatcher always send me the hour, no matter where I'm at in Illinois. This guy trying to keep me in Illinois, he telling me, oh, this, this. Yeah, I'm back, man. My camera went dead. But yeah, I hit him up, man. I let him know. I was like, man, I'm not, I need a 34-hour reset, so I, I'll just wait. I'll wait the Monday and load out. Like, come Monday, my dispatcher called in. I, I bull it, y'all not. My dispatcher called in. Like, I had to deal with this guy another day. He was procrastinating so bad, man. He sent me a load. I just took the load that was paying like 20, 20 almost $2,200 to go 600 miles. I just took that, man. It was a good load. I just didn't like the drop date. He was giving me load that dropped three and four days out. Like, I'm like, bro. And, and it wasn't just me. Like, I'm talking to other guys on the fleet. Everybody had a problem, dog. Like everybody had a problem that week. Like that was one of the worst week I ever ran at Prime. Like gross, it gross twenty nine hundred. Well, I probably gross over three thousand, but yeah, I probably gross over three thousand. But still, that was one of the worst week I ever had at Prime. But you know, that's what you save for for weeks like this, cause it, it ain't gonna always be peaches and cream. It ain't gonna always be mashed potato and gravy. Like you gonna have them weeks to where you pray for rain, but you get mud. You feel me? It gonna be like that. So, you know, you got to take the good with the bad with the trucking. Like, that's why you you making all this money, you got to save. You got to stack your bread. You got to stack your chips. But anyway, other than that, man, everything, he been back. Lowe's been decent. I ain't going to lie. Lowe's been decent. They ain't what they used to be, but they been decent. They'll still make good money over here at Prime. Like, I promise you, you can make some money at Prime. You just going to have to you have to get your dispatch in order, man. You have to tell your dispatch, hey, man, this ain't working. Like, you got to run what's best for your company because at the end of the day, you run the business when you get in the lease side. On the lease side, it's straight business. So don't let them tell you, trust me, or this, that, and the third. You know what's good for you. You know what, what kind of revenue you're trying to make for the week. So you got to think for yourself. Don't let them think for you. But uh, other than that, man, everything been gravy, man. Um, You can get paid for your empty miles at Prime. I don't know if y'all know. You have to request it. They're going to talk junk about it, but you can get paid for your empty miles. Don't let them trick you saying that they don't pay you for empty miles. That, that was an absolute lie. Um, What else I didn't smear? Like, I didn't smear a, a heck of a lot. Like, I know why my fleet man was out. I turned down, like, three loads, man. Well, I ain't going to lie. I turned down, I turned down, then I turned down three loads. So, and I told him, I told him I just wait. He was like, I don't want you to sit down. Um, what can I do to make it right? Do I need, um, like, what is the money? I said, yeah, it's the money. I told him, man, I'm at, I'm at $900 on a Saturday, man. Like, I only took this load for my fleet manager. But he went on vacation, left me hanging. So you know how that is. Your, you, you trusting your fleet manager, and he goes on vacation. Even though he sent out a message, he was going to be out the rest of the week. I didn't see it because I was driving. 
and the messages don't pop up. I don't use my Qualcomm, I only use my phone. Because with these Qualcomm, if you got the volume up, you can't go over the speed limit. Going down here, in your truck get a little speed. Um, any message, message, it lies on the way, like everything that loud, like a buzz, they, they warn, that Qualcomm warn you for anything, like, so I keep it all the way down, like I keep the volume turned all the way down on it. But yeah, they got some new folks at Prime and Heat Mill said they started at Prime Mile. Salute y'all, man. Y'all come on here and get this money, man. It's enough for everybody. I still believe that. I ain't, I ain't changed y'all. I still believe that, man. You just got to know your area, man. You got to know which area you like. like. You got to know. On a Friday, you do not need to be in no Philadelphia, no Virginia, nowhere over there, man, because ain't no money to be made over there in them states. You got to know that. If you don't know it, something wrong with you. You got to already have your revenue up when you go over there. You got to know when you're going into Florida, you're going to make a hell of a lot of money. But coming out of there, you're going to make pennies on the dollar. You got to know this stuff when you get in trucking. So you, know, you take that Florida load, you got to take it at the beginning of the week or at the end of the week. You don't want to take a load like that in the middle of the week because it's going to throw your whole week out. Because you take it in the middle and you deliver it. You towards the end once you deliver it. Now you're finna get a, a BS load trying to get up out of Florida to end the week. So, you know, you really got to know how to handle these loads, man, and what this up like. Like, I turned down a $1,700 load. The load was excellent. It was $1,700. The delivery date, you got to know, it's delivering Saturday. It is Wednesday. It's delivering Saturday at 1830. Like, nah, I can't do it. Get somebody else. I ain't got that much time to wait on $1,800. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff coming to the trekking. I'm still learning. Um, I don't know it all, but I can tell you what, I've been through a lot. Uh, salute all the prime drivers. Salute all the new drivers. Salute anybody watching the channel for that, man. Like, salute anybody that's watching the channel. Like, it ain't easy being a truck driver. So, I salute anybody that's even watching the channel. Um, but, yeah, I just want to know, man. I, I, I'm still, I ain't on energy drinks. Still not drinking energy drinks. I, I do my workouts outside the truck. I don't try to go to a, a Planet Fitness or nothing like that. Do me a little calisthenics outside the truck. Push up, jumping jack, running place, high step, stuff like that. Um, bell crawl, um, stuff like that. Like simple exercises to keep me in shape. Like um, I really just mean peanuts and grapes, but I'm switching my grapes up to banana because grapes hold so much acid to you being lulled and pilot. Cause you not walking so you eat all them grapes it just sitting on your gut and they you know they build up a whole lot of acid so you'll be enough for some indigestion some you know some type of relief for that you know and i so i i'm, I'm switching that up from from grapes to banana that's what i'm switching that up to but other than that man it's been a blessed week man i'm just thanking god man he allowed me even make it through the week man there's a lot of people out there that didn't make it through the week so you know you got to take the good with the bad though but like i say you pray for rain you got to know you're going to have to deal with the mud. So if you ain't prepared to deal with the mud, don't pray for the rain. But yeah, man, this your boy Trucker B. Check me in with another video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend to come see me. And yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, till next time. Deuces.